and hello everybody, it's SOD Mad Haven here today. And as you just saw, I sent out the first gift today. Now, I want to be able to give out a couple more um, throughout the next 30 days or so. I plan on at least doing maybe two more. And uh, depending on if I decide to give out two more, I might just give out one and give somebody the Fangula instead. So, leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and I will go through and I will make a decision. Now, today, we're going to be checking out the T-92, the Falcon. This is a light tank they added into the game probably about four to five months ago. Um, since they added it, I've been enjoying it a lot. It's really pricey to play because of the premium ammunition inside the tank. The premium ammunition is like 4,800 per shell, and having under a four-second reload can be really pricey. Now, your standard penetration, you're looking at 175, and your premium, well, I forgot the premium, probably because I don't like to fire it too often. So, jumping into it right away, let's go ahead and take a look at the engine here. We have 35.32 horsepower to ton, a 600 overall, 60 top speed, 25 reverse speed. The other day I mentioned that, I thought 24 reverse speed was high. Look at that one, 25. 20% chance to be set on fire, your fuel tanks are located in the back. I've had a couple fun experiences just, you know, turning into a blaze of glory. <laughs> All right, now, jumping over to the gun here, you have a 4.3 second reload. Honestly, I don't think I need to go over the premium consumable gun rammer and everything else stacked on top of this. You have about a 3.5 second reload with a fully trained crew, brothers in arms, ventilation, gun rammer, and a premium consumable, the cola for the Americans. Now, gun dispersion at 0.38, it's a light tank, you have a fast fire rate, that gun dispersion is horrendous. Now, it could be better. Aim time at 1.8 really helps out, even though the gun dispersion is so high. You can really take shots from long range. If it was any lower, I think it would be ridiculous, being able to hit something on the move without a problem. Your standard rounds are APCR, your premium rounds are heat. 10 degrees of gun depression, keep in mind, aiming off the left or the right side of the front of the tank, you are going to drop to 8 degrees to 7 degrees. 20 degrees of maximum elevation helps out a whole crap ton. Accuracy on rotating turret and on the move, you are capable of taking snapshots in this tank without many problems. Jumping over to the tracks here, 55 degrees of rotational speed, and look at the ridiculous terrain resistance. So that 55 degrees is actually... A lot higher than what it says. At 0.3 and 0.4 for, for hard and medium. Soft ground at 1.1. This tank is highly mobile. Not a lot of issues getting around whatsoever. Thing likes to jerk on me like a mother foe. Your turret rotation speed of 50 degrees is also a big help. Along with a view range of 400 meters. 400 meters with... Uh, situational awareness, recon, coded optics, or even binoculars... Can exceed over 500. Keep in mind, your maximum view range cap is 445. Any additional view range after that counteracts the camouflage rating of the enemy tank. So if the enemy tank has a 30% camouflage rating, you have to exceed 550 in order to spot them out. The maximum view range of 445. But with a camouflage rating of 30, they're going to probably have to be 410 to 420 meters out before you spot them. Unless they're behind a bush, then, well, good luck finding them. Your signal range at 745, primarily. I'm not going to jump into that because that is assist damage and just helping out the team. Ammunition, now here we go. Your standard shells at 1,219, base penetration at 175. Keep in mind, space armor is not fun, especially in a light tank. Premium shells between 158 to 263, 975 meters per second. 975 meters per second, they can be a little bit of a pain in the butt. But, hey, you know, slow moving, but at least you got the extra penetration. <laughs> Too bad they cost an arm and a leg. Armor! Nope. <laughs> okay, now taking a look at the standard penetration at 210 for your premiums, your high explosives at 38. I don't load any high explosives just because 38 penetration, you're just going to splash them unless you're going to be aiming for tracks and trying to track them down. Now, here is the biggest issue with this tank. Oop, I was wrong. Not 4,200. 5,600. Ooh, that's even worse than what I thought it was. All right. <sighs> okay, we're going to go ahead and just jump right into this replay. 
Canis. This map is uh, uh, mixed emotions when they first added it. Played it way too many times when they first added this map to the game. It was almost every other time you played it, every other match you saw it. Now, we are bottom tier inside this match, keep in mind. I was kind of slacking off a little bit. I didn't realize we were in the match, and I finally looked over. Like, oh, snap, time to start playing. Now, T92, your concealment at 0.32. You are capable of getting your concealment up above 0.32. I do not know the exact number. I believe it's around 0.4 to 0.45, maybe even 0.48. Now, taking a shot, that's going to destroy your camouflage rating. It's going to drop down to your base camouflage rating or lower. Inside of light tanks, I do not know the exact estimates that it is for whenever you take a shot, but lower caliber guns means less of a drop-off on your camouflage rating whenever you are firing. Plus T90... T92. I remember when this tank first dropped, I was sitting there like, wait, are we talking about the tier 10 Artie in the game as a tier 8? That's just wrong. And then they added this, and then they changed the name of the uh, tier 10 artillery for the Americans. I call it the nuke, because whenever it hits you, it's a, it's a nuke. It just hurts so much. Especially at splash damage. It's ridiculous. And right there, the view range is already working. Now, this is something I'm going to share. If you look at the map at the bottom right, you're going to see a circle that's dotted all the way around, just lined. That is actually your effective camouflage rating in effect right there. That is basically your safe barrier. Inside mediums and heavy tanks and tank destroyers, whenever you come to a stop, you will notice that line gets smaller. That is because you have a moving and a stationary camouflage value. Whenever you come to a stop, that is your effective value. If you're behind a bush and you take a shot and they are beyond that boundary, the likelihoods of you getting spotted are very low. But if they are within that boundary and you take a shot and you're not covered, but you're not spotted yet, you are going to get spotted. And the blue icon that is further out is actually your view range. So, some tanks, depending on how you had them set up, a lot of tanks I run with vertical stabilizers rather than coated optics, and I run a gun rammer with them too. I have less view range than I do concealment which means I stay concealed inside my own view range now right there we took a shot at the turtle and instantly got spotted out that's because the turtle has got 400 meters of view range as well he also has a gun I do not want to get hit by because of the 600 alpha or maybe even the 590 alpha I can actually check that's on my favorite tab right here that tank is so fun to play it is 660 for its base damage on its standard shells. Kind of want to make a review about the turtle now. That's a fun tank to play. It is so derpy. If you're having a bad day, just load up a tank that is made for high explosives and suddenly you're going to have a good day. Just because whenever those shots go through, oh boy, is that fun to watch 600 roll off of somebody. Now, the position I took over on the right side, I didn't take it for any specific reason other than to make sure that that entire area is spotted out. And now that I see what's going on, I kind of want to fall back just a tad bit, head to the far left of the map to see what my team is doing and team up with the guy that we just bought a tank for. Brute, making a call out for him today. So far, I've played a couple of matches with him. We've been playing for about an hour and 40 minutes. And we've been having a lot of fun. He doesn't have a headset, but you know what? That doesn't affect me. I'm here to have fun and play with my community and get to know everybody that I possibly can. And here comes Brute. And there is the derp gun from the turtle. Lucky for me, he shot the tracks and did less damage rather than getting a penetration. Which later on, we're going to need our hit points. Because me and Brute are going to pull out some fun stuff here in a minute. Zoom in, see if I can take a shot. Nothing to really shoot at. So far, the start of the match within the first four minutes, not really exciting, a little bit slow, slow paced. Then again, whenever you're playing a scout tank, that's normally how it's going to end up. Now here's where the fun begins. Me and Brute are going to have a blast with this T-1105, because he's not ready for two light tanks to come rushing. I do whiff a couple of rounds, and right here I'm like, ooh, glide across the rock. 
<laughs> there's one of the whiffs. So rather than that, we're just going to auto-aim in and just start firing away and keep an eye on our mobility. Avoid everything that we can to not hit our teammate, try our hardest. And actually, playing with Brute, even though this is less than two hours of playing with him, me and him have a really good sync. And there's another whiff. There's a couple of those. We're not having fun. <laughs> but, you know, I, I do plan on giving out gold premium tanks, but it's not like I'm going to be able to do it every single week. It is off of my own income. And the 113 right up there. Lucky for me, he dirts around instead of hits me. Now, playing with a guy without a headset, you, you got to be real specific in what you want to do. I'm sitting here saying, you know what, let's go left. Go around the rock here. And he's right behind me. You know, just... <laughs> We're, we're having fun, and after this video is uploaded, I'm probably going to put another two hours of playing with this guy. Now I'm going to go straight for the tracks, and I eat a shell, and I lost my driver. Even though I lost my driver, me and him are just going ham. I love how he decided to go the other way instead of the right side that I took. He decided to go straight left. And that makes it to where now he has to, no matter what, he's going to take damage. And I thought I was going to die right there, but I was lucky enough to not get shot at all. Now... I was trying to see if I could overmatch the top armor there, because with 120s you can overmatch that against the 113, so just a heads up. Instead, we tracked him and got the track assist immediately. And I did get some hate mail from that uh, bad chat. He said, reported, because of what I just did right there. I, I don't think that's a, a reportable cause, especially since I got it recorded myself. I gotta say, I saw him coming and I knew I had to make a quick maneuver and take him out immediately. Bad Chats don't have a lot of armor, and I wasn't loading premium ammunition that was heat. Because if I was, there was a chance it could have get absorbed by the tracks. Lucky for me, I wasn't loading premium. Standard shells, APCR all the way. Top of the team at 2,484. Too bad we didn't get any block damage. Wasn't exactly the most exciting match of the day, but you know what? I gotta say, playing of Brute Bullet 6040 was a blast. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Definitely leave a comment. I try my best to reply and have conversations if conversation potential is there. Now, I will see you guys all tomorrow. Have a wonderful day.